good evening viewer and welcome to UON TV top of the hour news bulletin. My name is Chelsea Phoebe. On to a top story, the University of Nairobi has attained a milestone achievement as currently there is an ongoing construction of a masterpiece and state-of-the-art studio. Our reporter Dickens Gicho has the story. The University of Nairobi School of Journalism has begun the establishment of its studios right here at the former administration building. This comes in the wake of a long wait by the students and the university fraternity as a whole. Engineer Wanyonyu is at the center of this establishment and the project manager shared with us how the design is going to be, the length of time it's going to take and, and just so much about the studio. Welcome Engineer Wanyonyi. My name is Dickens Ngicho and I'm here to just get to know from you how the studio establishment will be because you are at the center of this establishment. Yeah, so how is the design going to be? Just take us through a short uh, way in which the design of the studio is going to be. Uh, well, thank you very much. As you have said, uh, I'm uh, Wanyonyi Constant. I'm the project manager for the contractor, which is Comchoice Africa Limited. We have done several projects across the country, and many of them are, are in Nairobi for government institutions. Uh, yes, we have been given a privilege to set up a, a modern uh, studio uh, in terms of radio and TV. Where we are standing here will be a radio station where we will have the live studio, uh, a control room in between here and there, there will be a production studio there. The control room will be manning both, both the live and production studio. Then there will be a corridor in between here. The other side will be TV station, a TV studio. There will be another room controlling the TV studio, which we call master control room or gallery. From there, we ha will have uh, offices the other side, whereby we will have all the staffs uh, manning the station from those offices. There is, there is, there is uh, another corner there, the far end, where we will have the newsroom and uh, design room. It's estimating about 16 weeks. Yeah, 16 weeks uh, from now, because uh, there are a number of equipment we are importing from Israel. Uh, by December, we will we'll have already done with this. Actually, we are, we are planning to launch this project on 22nd okay. of December. Okay. Now, in terms of suitability, this place is okay. And uh, for learning purposes, uh, we intend to have uh, studios here, but uh, again, make sure we have a uh, a feed to your lecture halls. The university are making arrangement to have probably 10 inch, 100 inch screens. Now, for inside the radio and, and the TV studios, we have got cameras. Remember, I didn't mention this, we have got what we call visual radio. Yes. If you check the Hot 96, even right now, Milele FM, they have got cameras. If you go to the YouTube, yes. you, you see their video, video feed. On how, on how they've been recording. So that's, how we, well, that's what we expect for Nairobi University to have. Okay. Yeah. So you, we don't need to have all the, studio, the students here in the studio. You will, you will stay in the, in the lecture hall, then we'll have the camera feeds to, the, uh, to that screen. Then the lecturer will have a, a, a lapel microphone, which he will be communicating with the technical operator in the, in the studio. I had a little chat with Dr. New, who is the thematic head broadcast department and this is what he had to share with us well thank you very much i think the first thing to observe is that the studios are long overdue because any institution that is teaching courses like broadcast journalism photojournalism and such other practical courses always ought to have facilities to make people practice what they are learning. It is not easy to learn theories of uh, the microphone, theories of a camera, without actually using those equipment practically and applying them. It becomes a lot more useful, a lot better for the students to really learn with the tools that they are going to use once they graduate. So for me, this is the actualization of what should have been there right from the early days when the School of Journalism was established. Studios should have been there right from when the school was started. But there was an understanding between the University of Nairobi School of Journalism 
and the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication that students from the school would be doing their practical courses at KIMC. But that got overtaken by events. Uh, one thing is the traffic congestion makes it impossible these days to travel between the University of Nairobi and KMC. What used to take us 15 minutes now takes several hours. The second is the introduction of evening classes. The introduction of evening classes meant that you couldn't have evening classes and then travel between the University of Nairobi and KIMC. And so then, you know, we needed then to have created facilities for ourselves. The third thing is that uh, equipment have been becoming cheaper with the coming in of the digital era. It is so much easier to set up even desktop broadcasting facilities. And so it, it's a lot easier these days to set up uh, broadcasting. But the University of Nairobi took rather too long, perhaps because the will to create the facilities was not really there from the, the, the leaders within the departments. Now, the purpose of setting up the facilities was for both the practical purposes of training and also for commercial broadcasting. In fact, as we speak, we already have a license, a free-to-air commercial license wow. that was granted by the Communication Authority of Kenya last year. And so once we start, we should, uh, you know, let's say by the second or the third year, be able to be generating finances to help to run the, the, the facilities. I think what has happened over time is that other universities have overtaken the University of Nairobi in terms of setting up facilities. We have universities like Daystar, which established their you know, studios some years ago. We have other universities like Kenyatta University, which has both a radio and a television studio that are running. We have more university and others who really came out the other day and are already broadcasting. But what I can tell the audience is that the University of Nairobi, and especially the School of Journalism, is the real place for journalism training. And with the studios, we are not going to be competing with anybody. In any case, the facilities we are establishing are state-of-the-art facilities, and they are going to be in a class of their own. And what I can foresee is that we are going to have a huge, huge demand by students from out there who've been going to other universities wanting to come to the university. Once we establish ourselves and we start broadcasting, we are going to be one of the best broadcasters in the country. And the people out there watching will be seeing exactly what quality is. And I'm sure they would want to be associated with it. And, and so, in a way, we are likely going to be selective in terms of whom we recruit because we know that we are going to have a huge demand for the facilities that we are already starting. As the saying goes, patience pays. According to the project manager, Engineer Wanyonyi, the School of Journalism students should expect a working studio in the next 16 weeks. Back to Chelsea. That's it from Dickens. Now let's get more from Dorcas Wambui, who interviewed some students on the matter. What's your take on the studio's construction? Uh, my take on the studio construction, I think it's a very good idea for students who are in the School of Journalism. It's something we've waited for so long and it will help students to improve on their skills and I know it will be something that we live to remember. How do you think the studio will impact the students? Mm, since there's a lot of competition out here, I believe that 
the construction of the studio is going to improve the students' journalistic skills. Thank you.